get better than salsa? I like to mix them. I like to mix them. Don't use the teeth. Don't use the teeth. <sighs> Whoa. Scrumptious. Oh, my, my. Put it in my belly. Nothing like some good greens. That's who I like to see. A nice, happy mom. A what? That's what I like to see. A nice, happy mom. Hey. <laughs> Skeleton. I was just, um, freaking out a little bit. I was like, wait a minute. I had a plan for today's vlog for filming for you guys, and I couldn't remember for the life of me what that was. Of course, Joseph starts kindergarten tomorrow, so we're going to show you a little behind the scenes of getting ready for kindergarten. True love, take it away. I'm so excited to share with you our brilliant idea for our lunch systems. I decided that when Joseph starts school tomorrow, kindergarten, that he is going to be in charge of making his own lunch every single day. So in his mind, school means he makes his own lunch. And I've been telling him all summer, oh, I'm so excited you're going to start school. One of the fun things about school is you're going to make your own lunch every night. So for him, it equals the same thing. And we've been talking about it and he's been helping me make some of the stuff. So the main thing for that to work though, for a six-year-old to make his own lunch is for him to be able to reach everything. So, I don't know if you remember this awesome bench our neighbors are about to throw away that's been in our kitchen that we love. Ta-da! I have created, <laughs> through the Dollar Tree little tubs, a little lunch system. So, we're gonna keep his lunch box in here, and every night he's gonna come through, and he's gonna pick out one thing from each tub. And I have little applesauce pouches, fruit snacks, the ones with the real fruit, um, little apples so they're small enough that you can eat it in one lunch, and then some snack ideas, because every day they have snack. Um, and then I have his lunchbox and his little reusable snack bag. And right now there's actually popcorn in here for tomorrow. But every night he will be in charge of filling this up. And then in the fridge there's going to be a little basket that he can pull out that has the cold stuff. A little containers with strawberries, little cut up shredded carrots, um, cheese, little square things. And then his main food, which is going to be he loves cheese tortillas, are down in the freezer. We haven't actually made those yet, but we're going to make a bunch of them and just stock them up in that freezer. And so every night he'll grab a tortilla out of the freezer and then lift this up and pick out the different things, separate his snack into this, and then put the snack in his outer part of his book bag and his lunchbox on the inner part of his book bag. And when he comes home from school every day, he will take both of them out and leave them at the sink. I'm going to kind of wash them and take care of these um, for now, because he is only six. <laughs> Once he's maybe seven, I'll make him be in charge of that. But he's already so excited and then his little brother, Seth, who's going to be home with me, I'm going to let him do the same thing. So he, they both kind of are going to get in the mode of just making their own lunch and picking out fun stuff and then making sure everything else gets to the sink at the end of the day. So it's going to be amazing. It's a huge transition for our family, and I'm, I'm excited. He's excited, and it's going to thrive. I'm sad that my 
oldest and firstborn son is old enough to be gone now for 35 hours a week, so I'm gonna miss him. But regardless, he will know how to make his own lunch and will be making his own lunch every day of his entire school career.